Siemens in Chemnitz, Germany produce control cabinets for all types of different customers, including Dematic. To improve the production supply of small parts, Siemens opted for an auto store system from Dematic. Incoming packages are scanned and transported to the upper level via a lift. The conveyor system consists of two levels. In the upper level, incoming goods are randomly distributed to the workstations. The lower level brings empty auto store bins to the workstations. From here, the filled auto store bin is transported to the auto store system via a conveyor line. Each auto store bin is then weight checked. In the transfer cells, bins can be retrieved and picked up in one process. We're now here at the auto store system. The auto store itself is located within an area of 760 square meters and holds 45,000 bins. This is an optimally condensed warehouse that is contained within an aluminum frame. You can see the robots moving on top, digging out boxes independently and transporting them to the port where an employee can take them out. The advantage of the auto store system is the maximum consolidation of the warehouse footprint. You can see this nicely here. The bins are close together and directly on top of each other. The system itself is organized in a decentralized way. If a robot breaks down, the system continues to run. Manufacturing puts a demand message into our software system. We translate this message into our Siemens software, which we've integrated to operate the auto store, ensuring bins are requested at the right time to the right port. This means that an employee loads an order as a work list. Then the items are to be distributed to the individual robots. The robots fetch the bins from the grid and present the items to the port one after the other. This process allows the employee to continue to carry out his picking work in the classic way. The small parts are picked into a container which is then delivered to the production area.